Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. In part 1 of this series, you saw how to set up hosting using Bluehost and install WordPress to create a beautiful website. In this video, you'll see the fun part, customizing and making your website look pretty. Sign into your WordPress and go to your dashboard and go to Appearance and click on Themes. A theme is what determines the overall look or decor of your website. So these are themes that are pre-installed into your WordPress account. You can click on each one to see how it looks. Now at the top, find WordPress.org themes and click on it. Here you see more themes that you can use for your website. Just click on one you like, see details and preview. Some themes are free and there are other premium themes as well. Make sure to check the star rating here and get one with good ratings. For this example, I'll use this free theme called Vantage. Good rating and I like the modern look. So I click install. Once it's installed, click on activate. Now go back to the home button and click on visit site. And there you have a new look to your site. Okay, let's customize this home page. So go back to the dashboard page. Every theme works a little differently from each other. But once you install a theme, look over under appearance. Don't be afraid to click on a button and see what it's all about. For this theme, it gives you a button under Appearance called Home Page. Click on it. Here, it basically says this theme works with a plugin to make it easy for you to set up the home page. A plugin is like an app for your smartphone. There are lots of plugins that you can install onto your WordPress and they try to make your life easier. Let's look at this plugin for example. So click on this green button and click on Activate Plugin. All right, now let's go back to appearance, then home page, click. Now this page looks a bit different because now we have a plugin that lets you edit the home page more easily. First, turn this top button on and save home page. It's really cool because each box represents an area on the home page. If you open up your site on the new tab, you can see that under the big photo area, there are three boxes with circle icons. They are represented in these three boxes on this page. And there are two more areas underneath. You can click on this small arrow box and drag to move the boxes around. Save and refresh the site. And you can see the change is reflected right away. What's also cool is if you click on this live editor button, you can see the changes you're making right there. So once you like the layout of the boxes, click on the area and you can edit the title and text like this. Save. So here I'll quickly change the text for these three boxes. There are a lot of icons to choose from, which is nice. You can take your time and choose what you like. And there's a lot you can customize, but for now, I'll just add learn more to this more text section and save. So you can change all the text here the ways you like, and I'll show you how to connect this button to the correct page you'll be building in a minute. So I've added my text to the boxes, Take a lesson, who's Mao, and contact me. Don't forget to save changes. Now you must be wondering, how do I change the picture up here? So to change this picture, go to Appearance, then Theme Settings. Scroll down to the Home section and find this Home Page slider. And again, this theme works with another plugin, so click on Install it. 
activate plugin and find this plugin meta slider on the left bar. Then add slide. Then you get this. Here you can drag and drop pictures you want to appear in the picture section. I'm using some photos from Sparkly Belly for this example. Then click add to slider. Then save. Now go back to appearance and theme settings and go to home page slider again. Click on the arrow and you'll see slider colon new slider. Select it and scroll down and click save settings. Now go to your site and ta-da! Your beautiful pictures are up there. Well, sort of. The photos are a bit cut off. Okay, so here's how to fix it. Go back to the meta slider and next to your photo find crop. Choose top center to show more of the top of the photo. Click on save and preview to see if you like it. Looks better. I do the same for the other photo. Save and see how I like it. Good. Finished. Now let's make a few pages. In WordPress, a page is a web page that's very important to the structure of your website, like your about page, gallery page, and contact page. If you're interested in having a blog, each blog post is created as a post as opposed to a page, which I'll show you in a minute. So go to Pages, click Add New. At the top, type in the title of the page. I'm going to make an about page. Then type in whatever description you'd like. I'll just copy and paste the text I prepared. And hit publish. One thing to fix now is the permalink. You see right under the title the address for this page. To make your website look more professional, we want more descriptive URL than malbellydance.com slash question mark page ID, something like that. So click on change permalink and it shows how you can automatically format URL. I recommend that you pick a post name for professional looking URLs. Then save. Go back to the edit page and make sure to click update. And there you have malbellydance.com slash about. That's more like it. Click view page and you can see your about page. You can follow the same steps if you want to make a page with your lesson schedule or with your service to perform at events. Now I'm going to go back to the Pages section and create another page. This time I call it Contact Me. Type in the text and publish. Now we want a contact form that your clients can fill out to ask you questions. To do so, first go to Settings and right click on General and open it in a new tab. Scroll down to email address and type in the email address you'd like people to send messages to. Click on save changes. Now find a button that says forms on the left and it's actually a pre-installed plugin called Formidable. This is a very cool plugin that lets you create forms. All you need to do is click add new and I'm using their template. So just click on load template this looks good. I don't need their website information, so I'll just delete that by clicking the trash can button. Hit create. Now go back to the page editor, click on where you want the form to be inserted, and click on this forms button. Select the contact us form we just created, click on insert into post, and update. Let's view the page. And there you are. Your potential customers can contact you through a professional looking form. A 
As a dancer, your website has to have a gallery page that showcases your work. So create a new page. By now, you should be an expert at this. Type in the title and click on Add Media. Then click on Upload Files. Drag and drop all the photos you want on the gallery page. Then click on Create Gallery at the left. Make sure all the photos are selected and click on Create a New Gallery. You can play around with the photo sizes on the right here. I'll pick medium for now. You can also drag and move around the photos. Then click on Insert Gallery down here. Click Publish and let's view the page. Nice! And if you click on the individual photo, you can see a larger version. Now let's go back to the editing page. Let's say you have a YouTube video that you want to include here. Then go find your video on YouTube and under your video, click on share, then click on embed. Now you see this code highlighted here. Copy it, go back to the editing page, click on the text tab here and paste the code under everything. This text section is where you can type in code to format your content if you know how to. And here's your first coding. Hit update and view the page. Now you've got your video on your website. Now that we've got three pages, I want to quickly show you how to add a link to these pages on the home page. So if you go back to Appearance, then Home Page, you see the Page Builder again. I'm going back to the second box and click Edit. Here I wrote About Mao and I want people to click on Learn More to go to my About page. So I type in the URL for my About page in this More URL box. Click Done and Save Home Page. Now I go to my Home Page and click on learn more and it takes me to my about page just as I wanted. You can do the same for the other boxes on the home page. Okay, so if you want to write informative content to attract students or clients, writing blog posts is a good idea. To do so, go to post and add new. Now this one is just like creating pages. Be sure to select the visual tab here and write your text and publish. And there you have your first blog post. Now what's cool about this Vantage theme is that there is this automatic blog post slider at the bottom of the home page and they're automatically linked to your posts. If you go back to the post editing page and scroll down to the bottom to see featured image. Click on Set Featured Image and Upload or just select your image. Update the post. Now this picture shows up in the slider on the home page, letting visitors know that you have these cool posts for them to read. Finally, when you're ready to show this beautiful work to the world, find this banner at the top that says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. Once you're ready to launch, click here. Great. Click. And now you can go and share your lovely website. So this is what you can do to create a beautiful professional looking website on your own. As you can see, there are so many things you can change and customize, but there you have the basics of setting up a good looking website. It's really not bad if you give it a try. Don't be afraid to poke around and if you have any questions, there are lots of articles available out there and you can email me and ask me questions. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Good luck and if you want to receive more of the Business of Belly Dance series, sign up for my newsletter at sparklybelly.com slash website. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!